briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1952, the United States Supreme Court heard a landmark case, Youngstown Sheet and Tube Company v. Sawyer, which centered on the president's power to issue executive orders and the need for express authorization from Congress or the Constitution. The dispute began during the Korean War, when steel companies and the Steel Workers Union failed to reach an agreement after months of mediation and federal investigation. In response to the union's planned strike, President Truman issued Executive Order 10340, directing the Secretary of Commerce to seize control of the steel companies due to the critical importance of steel for national defense. The steel companies sued the Secretary, and the District Court issued an injunction preventing the seizure of the plants. The central issue of the case was whether the President's order was within his constitutional power. Despite the urgent context, Congress did not take any action on the matter. The Supreme Court eventually ruled that the President's power to issue executive orders must come from the Constitution or an act of Congress, and without such authorization, the President's actions were unconstitutional. Justice Jackson's concurrence in the case provided a framework for analyzing presidential authority, outlining three tiers of power, maximum authority, the zone of twilight, and the lowest ebb of power. In this case, President Truman's power was deemed to be at its lowest ebb, and therefore, the Supreme Court affirmed the District Court's decision, setting a precedent for presidential powers and the importance of congressional approval. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.